I went back and I got Kimber. So Kimber is a couple, about a three or four weeks older than Dan was. Um, the difference here is Kimber's healing. So we healed her down here. I'm just gonna put her on that spot and let her work, do the exact same thing. I'm not gonna talk with her much. You can see her already. Look at her working her nose. She's catching that wind, that scent. So uh, I'm gonna put her on it. I'm gonna let her drag this lead if she will. And then uh, uh, I'm just gonna follow along with her. But as they get a little bit older, um, I'll start working with that line with them, but it's a fine line of heel work. When we get into our heel work, I'm big on heel work. I gotta have dogs that heal really nicely. So what I want to do is before I get them really solid on heel, I want them tra tracking with a long check cord or a training or a, a tracking line, which is different than any other leash that we use for for heel work. So they gotta understand that when they're on that, they can get out of heel zone. When they're not on that or when they're on the, their short leads or off lead, they need to heal well. So we're going to put her on. I'm going to heal her up. Heal. You can see we focus on loose lead. And then I'm just going to let her go. Go ahead. Go ahead. Good. Big difference a month makes in age. Now you can see she gets a little lost because she's actually following our tracks back. I'm going to see if she checks back. Here she comes. Now she's got to kind of recollect things, regather things scent wise. But she slowed down and now she's working it. Good. Good girl. What you got? Come on, come on, come on. Good girl. Good girl. That's a good girl, little Kimber, good girl, good girl. So that was perfect. You could see too, with her, she took it much quicker, much more confidently than Dan. She'd been on a few of these before, but I wanted to run her on it because it was a nice set and it was we had it set, so we put her on it. But she, now sit, sit, good girl. And we go right back under control, sit, good, good. So I'm gonna try to get her clipped up here. I'm gonna set this down. New. So what you saw different there was obviously she worked it a lot faster, a lot more confidence. Um, she's ready to go on to a little bit more difficult tracks. That was only aged another 15, 20 minutes beyond when Dan ran it. So total of maybe 40 minutes, um, but probably only 20 minutes since we had walked it. So And we left scent and it was pretty easy for her. She's ready to go on to the next step, but she did a great job. She ran past and followed our tracks out. And what I did was I just stopped and waited. I didn't know if she'd keep tracking that or not. And thankfully she stopped, she checked back and you saw she came back and worked around, worked around, recollected, kind of regathered herself and slowed down. You could see her, she physically had to slow down to sort through this. And once she did that, she got back wind of that bumper and she picked the bumper and brought it back. So that was great, great success. Another one with a little dog, super easy. This isn't very difficult, but all we're doing is bringing out what they're gonna do naturally. Uh, use their nose, find something, get a reward at the end. They, they love it and I just wanna make it fun for them. So that was great, it was great work with Kimber.